Bad love, but them never reach like that. Money, but they never reach like that. Money, them can't see. Hey loves, welcome and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm just going to be chatting with you guys about my 12 months experience in the UK. Yeah, I moved to the United Kingdom in August 2022 and we are in August 2023. Yay! Congratulations to me! <laughs> so, I'm going to be sharing with you some of the lessons or some of the things i've learned living in uk for 365 days <laughs> yeah right so if this is something you want to hear or if this is something you are interested in then you definitely need to keep watching this video and guys rate me on my diy braids <laughs> yeah so this video is a two-in-one video today it's not a sit-down video so whilst i'm having my hair done i'm also going to be chatting with you so comments below this video let's see if i have done well braiding this hair i know there's more room for improvement yeah i do i do know there's more room for improvement but you comments below let's see how you're going to rate me okay so guys the very first thing i've learned in this country is that one there is flexibility of work so in this country you can do two or three jobs at the same time depending on your strength yeah let me repeat that depending on your strength okay so um if you are employed or you came into the country using the skilled worker visa the skilled worker visa permits you yeah to have a second employer and that second employer you can only work with that second employer for 20 hours okay yeah so in that case some people try to get two additional employers <laughs> apart from their main employer so they spread that 20 hours but then yeah you can do two that is your main employer and a second employer but your second employer you can only work 20 hours and i find this so exciting and so flexible and yeah so admirable because where we are coming from yeah in africa i don't see such a thing happening that you'll be working for two employers at the same time no hell no but here i think because of how the system is built up so you you are given that kind of flexibility and i do really admire it a lot so that is the first thing i have learned here here yeah because it actually gave me that flexibility in my first few months here i started agency yeah apart from my main employer i started working as an agency staff yeah agency staff mean you have been employed by a different employer and you are taken or you are being sent to other hospitals other care homes other whatever to go and work not necessarily your main hospital or your main care home okay so you can go anywhere so they have shifts you have to just say hey i'm available to cover it and then yeah you are gone so that is one of the things i've really learned and it's really helped a lot right so lesson number two is minding your own business so one thing i've uh i've learned here is that like the people here Tend to mind their own business nobody really cares about you yeah <laughs> let me put it that way you are on your own okay you are on your own so um you see way back home like when you come back from work or you are off duty you tend to go to your next door neighbor or your friend so that you can have some chit chats <laughs> you can <gonna> gossip <laughs> <laughs> or you go and catch up right yeah 
this place you don't see such things happen here because everybody is on the run so everybody is thinking about how to raise money yeah to pay his or her bills so no one really cares about you everybody is minding their own business that is one of the reasons why people are like they tend to say i'm depressed i'm this i'm that I'm... but hey some of us <laughs> because we've mastered that artwork <laughs> that artwork of minding our own business and living all the way by ourselves mm, we we are okay we were fine we are fine and we are so fine because we don't really care we don't really care we are trying to make ends meet and that ends it but hey don't get me wrong it doesn't mean that we don't make friends we don't meet people you meet people all right but it's not like how we do it way back home okay so here everybody is on the run so everybody is minding their own business <laughs> right let's proceed lesson number three lesson number three is there is dignity for work in this country okay what i've noticed is that all jobs are respected okay the way you respect a doctor is the same kind of respect that has been given to a cleaner okay so there's nothing like oh this person is a cleaner so i won't respect the person you see you, you see you see how we do it way back home like in africa when you know we look down upon certain jobs like some kinds of like i don't know how to put it but you see that there are some kind of jobs that we look down upon here here there's nothing like that everybody is important and you see that cleaner that you might be looking down upon might even be any more than you right and they are even driving the best cars okay so there's nothing like looking down upon anybody right and the most important thing is that here there is something they call minimum wage okay and because of that you can't pay anybody less than the minimum wage so for instance if you want a carpenter to come to your house to come and help you do something you can't pay the carpenter less than the minimum wage you get that so if the minimum wage is 10 pounds you need to be looking at the 10 pounds because and to be frank you are not even the one going to be charging because these people here they are running things okay those people with the skills they are running things here okay they charge you per hour can you imagine asking a carpenter to just help come and help you fix maybe your window or your door or something and the person is charging you per hour maybe 50 pounds per hour so imagine the number of hours the person is going to spend doing that calculate it just calculate it a little bit though and not even talk about braiding hair doing whatever the makeups the spa guys those people are making it huge here so in this country one thing i've learned is that no one looks down upon anybody all jobs are respected and some jobs that we do not give respect to we do not value way back home those jobs really pay here you get me you get that <laughs> lesson number four is that someone is always watching you mm? so always make a conscious effort to do the right things because <laughs> you might think no one is watching you but i tell you eyes are watching eyes are watching okay for instance <laughs> in the um care homes you know the elderly care like let me leave the hospitals out of it the elderly care the care homes where people bring their relatives to be catered for most of them 
most of them have cameras in their rooms they have cameras in their room so if you don't know this <laughs> and you go there and misbehave you don't treat the residents properly you find yourself in trouble even though at that moment that you are with the poor old lady or poor old man you might think it's only the old man or the old woman so no one else is watching but i tell you <laughs> there's someone there is an invisible person watching you so i always tell people that if you go for this agency shift you know some people take loads of shifts and they tend to get tired and then when they get there every little thing pisses them off and you know this residents some of them can be so like demanding they can be so demanding but then hey that is the reason why you picked a shift so since you are there you need to deliver so just deliver and go home don't go there and misbehave because eyes are watching you <laughs> right because eyes are watching you you will be in trouble they have cameras all over okay let's put that one aside scenario number two <laughs> i was scrolling to tiktok one time and i saw this video there was the student who was applying for uh, a skilled work visa after his study right <laughs> he wanted to now upgrade from student visa to skilled worker visa and during that process it came out that he was working more than 20 hours per week which his student visa doesn't allow him doesn't permit him to do the student's visa or even the skilled worker visa only permits you to do 20 hour per week and not more than that but apparently this guy did more shifts and nobody actually said anything about it until he was about applying for his skilled worker visa and now things came out the home office denied him of the visa they said he didn't comply to the rules and regulations and yeah it is true he didn't comply but the question is as of the time he was doing the more hours didn't anybody notice <laughs> they did but they kept they just kept quiet so they were just watching mm? so if i told you eyes are watching <laughs> that is true they were just watching and waiting for him or waiting for the right time okay and as of that time he was thinking he's being smart but look at that when he now needed the skilled worker visa he was bounced bounced just like that yeah scenario number three about eyes watching <laughs> so i got this friend <laughs> not just a friend but he was he he is my housemate <laughs> He bought, a, he bought a new car so he started driving so he he he's still new at driving in the uk all right so we got a letter he actually brought the letter for us to read <laughs> and the letter was from the police guess what he was speeding at a particular place where he wasn't supposed to speed and according to him there was no police on the road there was no police on the road but then he got the letter he got the letter and this time around the letter it was a whole long story he has to even do some courses because if he doesn't do the courses they are going to um he's going to pay an amount like a fine and blah 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 but he opted to do the course so he did the course and everything was sorted but what am i trying to say here i'm saying that just keep it in mind <laughs> well that is the lesson i have learned here that eyes are watching so always make the conscious effort 
to do the right thing and you will be fine <laughs> okay lesson number five is that raising kids in this country <laughs> It's not even a joke, okay? I'm laughing, but it's not even a joke because people are really suffering, <laughs> right? Okay, so um, if you have kids in this country and let's say you have about um, three kids and if those three kids, they are of different sex. So let's say you've got two boys and a girl you can put all your kids in one room never never you need to get a separate room for the female and then you can put maybe the two boys in one room but all the three kids can be in one room aside that the next thing is that you can't leave a kid at home <laughs> you see in africa <laughs> let me even use myself and my kid brother the time came and my mom has to travel and my dad normally um his way his kind of work doesn't allow him to stay at home often so normally we see our dad like in a month or sometimes two months later yeah because he really travels a lot and my mom as at that time had to visit her mom because she wasn't well okay so as of that period i was living with my kid brother just the two of us okay and we were fine totally fine okay we were totally fine but that incident can take place here like by now my parents would have been in trouble <laughs> so in this country you don't leave your kids at home by themselves you need to get somebody like always there should be someone at home to take care of the kids if you are not home and that is where it's so challenging because you are going to pay for it if you need to get someone to step in for you unless maybe you plan it between you and your husband so your husband goes to work you'll be at home taking care of the kids and when your husband is back you are also stepping out so always there's an elderly person at home to take care of the kids but like you can't just leave the kids at home and then just go anywhere it's so it's difficult guys <laughs> it's not even a joke it's so difficult for like people who have kids here yeah. and aside that you can't beat the kids like you see how a kid will misbehave and you just beat the child you can't do that here the child if the child mentions it to his or her teacher that is the end the social workers or social whatever whatever they'll come for you <laughs> yeah they'll come for you right so here it's super difficult so you need to find like a good way as an african parent a nice way of raising your kids because if not you always be in trouble mm? you always be in trouble so that is one of the lessons i've learned that raising kids here is super challenging and uh, child care here is also <laughs> another headache i might end with this very last one that is the uk weather so lesson number six is the uk weather as for that weather if there is something you need not to trust about this country is the weather hey what's a weather 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 that has got mood swings weather that has got mood swings can you imagine 